UMC founder Robert Tsao on Thursday held a press conference where he proclaimed himself to be 100% Taiwanese. The tech magnate recently gave up his Singaporean citizenship to reclaim his Taiwanese one. Also at the press conference, he announced how he plans to use the first batch of funds from his 3 billion NT donation for Taiwan's defense. He says the funds will be used to train 3 million citizen fighters over three years, as well as 300,000 marksmen. Robert Tsao shows off his newly acquired Taiwanese ID. The UMC founder says he's finally renounced his Singaporean citizenship, making him once again 100% Taiwanese. With this ID in hand, I feel reassured. I am 100% a citizen of Taiwan. Resisting China's ambitions is a glorious duty that history has given the Taiwanese. So now I am back in Taiwan to fight alongside everyone in this mission. As in past media interviews, Tao is wearing a bulletproof vest. But this time, he also had a helmet at the ready. He condemned China's regime, arguing that sayings such as one family and the two sides of the strait are deceptive. The People's Republic of China is a sham. It's a mafia trying to pass off as a country. And somehow there are still people in Taiwan who say that we are Chinese and that Chinese people wouldn't fight other Chinese. It's ridiculous. The actual reason China doesn't dare attack us is simply because they lack the power to do so. They have made unifying the two sides of the strait a silly national cause. Of course, they would have to beat us to accomplish that. It doesn't matter how close a friendship you have or how much you repeat that the two sides of the strait are one family. It's useless. You're only lying to yourself. Tao had previously announced a donation of 3 billion NT for Taiwan's defense. He says the first part of the funds will be used on two projects with the goal of raising awareness among the public about national defense. One of the plans is to train 3 million citizen soldiers within three years to assist with the regional defense operations and work together with the army in a way that leaves no gaps in coverage. The other plan is to train at least 300,000 marksmen. At the press conference, Cao refused to answer a question from a reporter from the China-friendly CTI-TV, underscoring his resolve to counter Beijing.